Hello, this is Jane Goodall. I've always loved horses. They're beautiful and they are highly intelligent and very social and very sensitive to their surroundings. Wild horses and domestic horses that have gone wild choose to live in herds, a stallion and his mares, and of course the young ones. They've got close ties between family members. They spend their days grazing on grass, swishing at irritating flies with their tails. When they rest, they often stand side by side, facing in opposite directions, so that their tails keep the flies off their friend's face. When they get itchy, they roll onto their backs. You can just see that they're totally enjoying the feeling. Ever since they were first domesticated, hundreds of years ago, they've been used by people for many purposes. Sometimes they're loved and understood, but so often they've been treated cruelly. In many parts of the world today, they're trained to take part in cultural festivals, and these are designed to give people fun and enjoyment. But how can we have fun when we know the horses or other animals used are suffering. The thing is that we now know a great deal more about animals than we used to. And we know that just like us, horses have their own personalities and they have emotions too. I love to watch a horse race around his field, kicking his hind legs in the air, tossing his head, clearly enjoying life. A friend of mine would throw her horse a football and he would chase it, then kick it back to her with his front feet so she could throw it again. His best friend was a donkey. As well as feeling happy, of course, we know that horses can feel fear, anxiety, depression and pain. And with this new understanding, we need to think in a new way about how we treat animals, don't you think? As we come to know ever more about their behaviour and their emotions, we truly understand the extent to which these horses suffer in festivals such as the Els Tres Tomes. This may be a cultural tradition, but cultures change as our understanding increases. They're changing all over the world. In England, it used to be fun to take your lunch on a Saturday and watch people hang from the gallows. We don't do that anymore. Surely we can't enjoy these festivals when we know that they're causing pain and distress, when the horses may be lame and exhausted. I'm speaking now on behalf of the horses when I beg the relevant authorities in Catalonia the veterinarians and the general public to change the nature of this festival so that there isn't any suffering involved. I saw a wonderful event last year where humans had made extraordinarily good costumes and paraded as horses and some were dressed as other animals. Everyone was ha happy and everyone had great fun. Thank you.